Nate Hooman here for Andy Russell with Moorhead High, Spud's newest head coach, Kennard Booker. Uh, do you want to talk about your uh, wrestling uh, career, maybe your bio, and kind of how you came to be the newest Moorhead High head coach? Uh, sure. Um, so I uh, grew up in Oklahoma, Dell City, Oklahoma. Um, hotbed for wrestling. Um, John Smith, uh, six-time world champ. Uh, Pat Smith, four-time, first four-time national champ. Johnny Nemo, um, lots of really good wrestlers over the years. Uh, the Perry boys came out of there as well, or their dad, should I say. Um, so I started wrestling when I was uh, five, and uh, I've uh, been in and out of wrestling at different levels. Uh, since then, I was a uh, assistant coach at University of Mary uh, a couple times, uh, coached with Milo Trusty, got a lot of uh, tutelage, and. Uh, you know, what, what better a mentor to have uh, to teach you how to coach. So that's, uh, that's what really gave me my uh, um, energy to, to uh, coach. And uh, it was a great foundation. Uh, from uh, av after I left Milo, I uh, went to Minneapolis and coached out in a parochial league out there for, uh, for about three years, I guess and uh, did very well. That, that league feeds into the uh, northern suburbs for the most part, out in Minneapolis. And then uh, left there, went to Oklahoma, coached at uh, Bacon College, NAI College. I was there three years, uh, had nine All-Americans, uh, three national runner-ups, uh, a couple of top 10 finishes, uh, something to be proud of. And, uh, uh, after that, ran an academy for about 10 years and uh, got into um, student affairs at that time, which is what I currently do at NBSU, um, along with the uh, new position at uh, Moorhead. So uh, ultimately, uh, moving up here, moving <laughs> up here for the uh, NBSU uh, position, but uh, um, been involved with Perham High School. I uh, did, did some of their club work. I uh, worked out with several kids on an individual basis. Um, got over here to, to uh, the North Dakota, uh, Minnesota border and uh, hooked back up with my buddy uh, Ryan Kringley and did a lot, spent a lot of time in the uh, tech team room. Did a lot of the preseason technique um, uh, and throughout the season lots of technique I showed. Um, they do a really good job over there. Um, all people should get their kids involved if, uh, if they want to get a good head start. And uh, so at the same time, we ended up buying a house in, in Moorhead. And um, that's when I uh, started getting to know people at Moorhead. Uh, Skip Tubes was a great coach. He's left the, the, uh, the uh, lineup in pretty good shape, so we're going to try and learn all that. But um, just worked out with the wrestlers uh, over Christmas, really. Kind of spent that whole break uh, in their camp, uh, in and out, working with each one, giving them tips. It was a really fun group. And uh, of course, my son's on the team. So that was awesome. It's always awesome working with your son and just watching him grow. And, and so that was uh, really my motivating factor in, in applying for the. Uh, Moorhead job was to be able to coach um, my, my son and, and his friends for the next eight years at least. And, um, you know, of course, along that way, uh, the goal is to uh, win titles. So that's what we'll be grinding for. We want to get more kids involved uh, year round. My son takes about, about nine weeks off a year, uh, however, it breaks out at uh, different points. And otherwise, uh, you know, you do something every day to try and be a champion. And then when you get a collaborative effort out of the whole team, then the team championships take care of themselves. So we're building wrestlers on a on a one-on-one -on -one basis, so to speak. But uh, solid philosophy will be uh, pretty much what Tubes had is, uh, you know, we're going to pound you. We're going to mentally tax you and we're going to break you and we're either going to pin you or you're just going to quit. So it's going to be one of them three type of scenarios is what we're pushing for. Okay, so coming from Oklahoma, yeah, do you want to talk about what you could, and Minnesota wrestling, you want to talk about what you can bring 
uh, to Moorhead High. You kind of talked about it a little bit, but is there anything that you'd really like to instill right away as far as maybe your training or technique wise? Well, you know, again, uh, the, the, I think uh, defense, you know, is, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real technical coach, so, uh, you know, if they don't score, you win. And so that's what we want to be really stingy of is uh, we don't give up takedowns. We get a lot. Uh, when we get you down, uh, we, we will try and turn you. So um, I think if we can just stick to that mentality of we don't give up points, uh, you earn every point you get from me, and it's not going to be very many. And uh, we will take you down. Uh, that, that's going to definitely be a straightforward motto is that we're, we're coming right off the whistle. Okay, do you want to talk about why it's important for you to bring uh, some of your Moorhead High guys out here to the North Dakota National Team Camp and is this going to be a thing that we're going to look forward to year after year kind of thing? Sure, so uh, my motivating factor really in getting the guys out here, of course Sam's wrestled uh, out here before on his own and uh, it, it's a good fit for us. I'm familiar with the coaching faces out here uh, my uh, alma mater's here. Uh, it's just a great atmosphere. We got uh, 40 kids, I think, here this week. Uh, probably grow next week, and that's that's a huge number. And so um, I get to work with Schumacher um, in in the room with uh, all these these studs that have been doing it for years. Uh, Schumacher used to coach help coach me when I was in college, so it's really awesome there. So I think. Um, Really, too, it's just the, the flat benefit that uh, that um, there's some quality workout partners here um, that uh, brings us out here, and, and plus um, there's a familiarity with the, uh, the Fargo Moorhead uh, uh, relationship. A lot of them kids grow up together. Sam grew up out there with Frenick and uh, 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 Freyer, so. Uh, um, yeah, that's that's really why we're out here. Okay. Um, anything else you'd like to add? Maybe talk about your expectations for your uh, first season on the job at Moorhead. Yeah. So, uh, you know, of course, the, the ultimate goal is to, to win it. Um, but I, I think what we want to do is repeat what we did at least last year, um, which was uh, six uh, state qualifiers, I believe is what they took. It's a pretty good number, uh, very senior heavy. But, um, um, you know, if we can get this next batch in this year, six, um, it, you know, even if they don't place, if they can just get that experience, uh, the following year is where I, I look to see where uh, it'll be kind of my instilled program and uh, um, we can start at start a program that builds on itself and runs from there. So, you know, you, you got to ask kids to, uh, Kind of like coming out here, put yourself out there, give yourself a chance to lose, but train to win. And so that's that's really, you know, pretty much installing the mentality and setting the expectations up there to get there. Absolutely, thank you. All right.